Okay, so Grixis Dragons. K commands a solid addition to this deck, chat. This is a more proactive Grixis control deck that has Nickel Bolas the Ravager, Glory Bringer, and Bone Crusher Giant as cards that all double as card advantage and closers. And Culligan's command here buys them all back. Um, you'll note that if you or might saw me doing live updates on Tuesday, I've made a couple of changes past that. I was thinking about it, and I think I still want a couple of Prismari commands. The flexibility of being able to make treasures was frequently very good for this, occasionally playing our five drops on turn four, so I'm splitting these two in two. We've also got some Relic of Progenitus in our sideboard here. So something to note is I'm still playing a couple of copies of Kling in the main deck. And I do think in this deck specifically, Kling is the better main deck graveyard heat in part due to the fact that it can generate card advantage for us in the non-graveyard matchups. If you've seen us play this deck before, you know it's not uncommon to draw two, three, or sometimes even four cards in a long game with Kling, and our deck has a ton of answers in it, so we're good at making the game goes long and turn this card, this card into card advantage. That being said, you know, something like Relic is very good in tight spots, so it can exile your whole graveyard for a very cheap amount of mana against something like Rogues, and it hoses your opponent's entire graveyard if they're playing a deck that doesn't care about you just removing single things at a time. So let's go ahead and dive on into some games with this and see how see how our Dargons do in a post post historic anthology world. I think this deck is super reasonable. This deck is like one reasonable finish in a tournament away from getting promoted to the high potential section on my site. And if it has a couple of them, I'm ready I'm ready to slide it into Proven for you, chat. We bottom Crux in the dark. I don't think I want to shock to Thoughtseize against what could be an aggro opponent. If they were showing something like Orphan Guard implying control, I'd shock Thoughtseize, but I think we'll just go tap land into tap land Thoughtseize. immediately penalized for having bottomed my Crux of Fate. Maybe? What on God's green earth is this doing? Hall monitor. Haste, target creature can't block. Lizard shaman. Alright, I'll take their bone crusher, I guess. Are they like a go wide Atarka's command deck, maybe? No, they they have Shocklands yet, and they've played they've played uh like I don't know that this is a standard playable card. I want to can trip this rather than gain three. That might be wrong though, considering full monitor can make our nickel boss not block. All monitors are four of in standard mono red. That's funny. And they're definitely not just mono red. I think I just trade with the Bone Crusher Giant while the trading is good. Eels grips this man. Hello, darkness, my old friend. How it sucks to meet with you again. Do 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 do
All right, so they make this stop block, and then they hit me down to three, and then we're gonna be dead to hall monitor activations. Um. Okay, so this is actually an incredible draw, probably the best draw in my deck. So this lets me kill this and I loot, which then lets me which then lets me use cling to dust. I, I'm partial to the Saltai super friends over, or sorry, the teamer over Saltai because the teamer builds more proactive. You wife, love you. She brought me food chat because she loves me. Igarek, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Running a Tarka, should we cling? Yeah, I should probably cling at sorcery speed. Probably correct. Oh, actually, um, I want to exile their worst creatures, right? Because I might flip this Nickel Bolas over. Was I juggling in League of Legends at the time? I don't know. I was going to say, should I tweet? I should tweet about this, right? Oh, ninja. Who would win, chat? An unstoppable dragon planeswalker or three hall monitors? No running in the halls. Yep. Oh, no. Not a fourth hall monitor chat. Oh, no. We shouldn't have been misbehaving in class, chat. We shouldn't have been misbehaving in class. The hall, the hall monitors found us. I had to cut my discard spells and just boarded a bunch of Doom Blades and a couple more sweepers. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but killed us. Peak, Peak Grixis lost to the Quad Hall Monitor deck. Cornell, thanks for the follow. Talking about putting Grixis in the high potential category. Then Hall Monitors showed up and ruined our day, chip. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. They must just be in a Tarkus command deck, right? They have a counter spell. Why did they? Why did they not attack with this? They're holding up mana. Oh, they're gonna make a treasure. Got it. Got it. We get the chat. Ha! We get them. Stumungus. 
Hey, I completely understand. Always take care of you and yours first. We'll be we'll be here. You ever have a question to ask or a comment to leave? I always read all the stuff on my YouTube channel. Well, we basically have to murder that one, right? Otherwise, it makes dragon friends. Finally have a use for Electrolyze, something like that. Yes. I will pay three. When it rains, it pours, Jeff. I think I want to play the untapped land tier so I can go stomp this turn and second stomp the next turn. Excited for another historic cooch this weekend. Me too, Icy Ice. Good to have you back. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Buffer, thank you for the 41. Welcome back. I think I'm just gonna double step on this mammoth. <sighs> you see all of my decks? My untapped profile is everything that we've played over the course of the day. <sighs> I assume we're losing Nikki B here. Let's confirm what we already know here. Stupid card.
Mia. Brutal. Oh, crux of fate. Yeah, I'll do big. Good example there. Why the discard spells come out here. Inquisition in. What's for lunch? A random frozen meal thing. I had like potatoes and corn and beans and some kind of spice on top of it. Probably an Amy's. It's usually the brand of stuff we buy. To keep in the ice box. Good one. Hopefully they play something that dies to a shock here. Perfect. So we'll go shock, make a treasure. And then we can play Bolas next turn. I wonder, I wonder if we should consider readjusting our removal suite to consider this card. Some copies of Grasp of Darkness might go a long way, or Legion's End, perhaps. Another time, Planeswalker. I think we're pretty soft to this card at the moment. Uh, we flooded, we flooded the second game against Hall Monitors. That's not a good scene. The whole of the multiverse will bend. My will. Oh, we have Shadows Verdict to clear it. I think I feel, I feel like I want slightly more answers to this still. They have Collected Company because they always have Collected Company. Nope. This is about to be incredibly satisfying, chat. He says before getting mana tithed. Yeah, I had Baleful Mastery in the other build with, uh, with what's it called? Um, with Oracle combo moving out of the format, Baleful loses a little bit of its excitement. One of the reasons to play it was that making them draw a card could get them. Yeah, it's, it's really mediocre against Redeen, that's for sure. I actually don't really have a good window to play this. I'm just going to keep my Planeswalker. <laughs> yeah, I flag, I flag my YouTube videos as not for children, so to make sure that they're appropriately categorized, I have to make sure I throw in some adult content every once in a while. I'll take my one. I mean, I think Blood Chief's Thirst is the right main deck removal spell. Pretty, pretty confident on that one. 
The selection of removal we play out of the sideboard can be up for discussion, I think. Now, sweeper, sweepers like Cry are really bad in this format. There really isn't a compelling reason to be playing them. If you look at if you look at the decks you actually care about, that's why you don't want to play narrow and bad cards to answer things like a Dante Vanguard. That's why something like Grasp of Darkness, for example, is a good choice. Wow, Vanguard enables Lovestruck Beast. That's so gross. I didn't even think about that. And these two can attack at the same time, right? That's such a good innovation. How has that not been a thing? That's crazy. Yeah, I just, I haven't seen anybody doing that. I think I'm doing this. It's been a thing. It re it really hasn't. As someone as someone as someone who looks, no, it's not at all. As, some, as someone who looks at a lot of historic deck lists. Sure, yeah, someone someone probably posted a deck list with it, but yeah, like the the stock company deck for a while. This was not a thing they were doing. Oh, they have company. Why do they always have company chip? Am I admitting I didn't invent Vanguard plus Beast? No, I actually already have an NFT of it. Gjor, thanks for the follow. Ah, Grixis, sending us back down in the percentages where we belong. This figure could be a playable card. I like that. I like that against like red aggro and stuff too. I guess we already have a lot of deal twos, which is kind of the problem. With four of these in the main as ways to destroy artifacts, maybe we don't need the abrades anymore, huh? Chaos Warp's always been kind of meme. What if we what if we played a small selection of cards that are better? That are better against Vanguard. Oh, Flunk was a card that we saw someone else playing that seemed good. Seven minus the number of cards they're hit. This basically always kills Vanguard, right? And it eventually scales up to kill bigger things. Is this actually great? What if we just try playing a bunch of flunks as our removal? Yeah, yeah, we have we have these and we have Nikki B and occasionally K Command. I like it. Yeah, it seems that seems great. Card that kills Adanto that also sometimes kills things like Love Shark Beast. Pretty super reasonable. Yay! New removal designs that are worth checking out. It's for the follow sub process. Good afternoon. For those of you just joining us, you've missed an incredible day of historic decks that we've played. What have we? What we do today? We played some Jeskai Control with Lotus Field. We played Jun Storm Herald. We played Naya Feather with Dramokus Command. We played Abzan Reanimator. A lot of lot of great things to check out tonight on my YouTube channel. And I'll be publishing five deck videos there of everything we played today. There's also three decks up there from yesterday. <laughs> see ya, see ya after the match, Jet. Nah, don't apologize. You're fine. My hand's busted. We're good. And I'm gonna I'm gonna see your hand in just a second. <laughs> See, Chad's a big brain play. And look at that. 
We queued right into an Adanto Vanguard deck. Look at our, look at our big brain add flunk to the sideboard play immediately pay off. Hey dude, thanks for the follow, good afternoon. Flunk would kill this Arcanist right now, too, if we had it. This is where I would put my Flunk if I had it. That's true. We are not stomping their face here. Ooh, they're playing looting. That's interesting. Did you find a dis discard spell? They find a thought sees here. They're going to destroy us. Don't do it, have a heart. What's their best possible? Like Thought Seize, Flashback, Thought Seize, Shockland, play Death Shadow. All right, you love, you love to see it. I couldn't flunk it, I damn it. <laughs> I can't believe they named, they named a removal spell damn. I guess, I guess the packaging does say 13 plus. Nah, I don't think I want a card like Flunk that will be dead. I don't think I want a card like Flunk that will be dead against control in my in my main deck. Okay, so when they attack and flashback Inquisition here, I'm gonna attempt the big brain play of loot twice to try and give them no targets. So hoping not to draw two cards that cost three or less. Nailed it. Easy game. Hey, Zam, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel this afternoon. Wow, that's good. Is it that good? Yeah, so we do, we do this. And we take K command. And then we Chandra kill the Arcanist. For those of you taking notes at home, you'll note that we cleverly left the Inquisition on top of our deck there, so it couldn't be Inquisitioned. Skill skillfully, even if you would. We're actually in kind of a tough spot because of the shadows, right? What if I Nicol Bolas take a card out of their hand, then plus the Chandra, the next turn Glorybringer plus Chandra plus kills them? Yes, I think that's the line. And if they, if they lifelink with Luris in combat to not be dead to that, their shadows die because they're only at... I don't think Elves is a playable deck in Historic. 
I think you can probably cheese people in best of one, but... Because there's no card in my deck that I would cast there. Yeah, if they get Vanguard back... Uh, <laughs> damn it. We needed to... Uh, we needed, we needed to fade a discard spell there. No, that card's not legal. That's true. That's true. Obviously, it's not even just Shaman of the Pack that Elves is lacking in Historic. They really need a second Accelerant. One good top deck deserves another, chat. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. top end do I want here? Probably don't have that many artifacts. Maybe we trim Prismari command. I think I want the grind from Culligan's command. There is definitely a set, one of the sets that we played where I misclicked the wrong mode on Crux of Fate and we ended up still beating rogues anyways. It was really funny. As you will typically see me do, in these matchups, I'm boarding out my discard spells against another discard spell deck. Um, these games come down to games like you saw that last one a lot, where both players are top decking. And when you're in those top decking situations, we want as many cards as possible to play to the board. I would say Flunk look good, looks good here, but it's not borderless, so it definitely doesn't look good. Might be playable though. I think the Storm Herald deck is very good. It's under underplayed and underappreciated. Hey, speaking of Bolas, thanks for 26 months. Welcome back. Have a good one, Bubik. the double red card to add to our keep that doesn't have any red lands. The reason why no gold span dragon. Yeah, gold span dragon just isn't very good in historic as a format, unless you're like explicitly ramping towards something large. So glory, glory bringer is a much better mid range slash control dragon finisher because it generates card advantage. You can exert every other turn to kill something. Sending a removal spell at this feels kind of bad, but it's still a one for one, so it's fine. And they, they know about this Heartless Act. So when they, when they go to do this, I'm going to force them to discard their entire hand here. This does mean I don't tap it. Oh, I could have done this during their upkeep, right? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, there's no reason not to do it during their upkeep. It's a good, it's a good point. Poor Bone Daddy. Yeah, yeah, I should be, I should be plus three in the fear. That's definitely a mistake. 
Alright, any land let Shadow's Verdict uh, happen. I'm gonna go ahead and one for one this here. The fact that I took that extra three damage means my life total is a little bit low. We'll hope to just spike a red source to deal with the cat. Doing that at sorcery speed in case we hit a removal spell. We're going to four, and they're going to a high enough life total that they can't play Death Shadow, so that's nice. If I had sequenced better and we were plus two life here, we'd be in a good spot. Oh, I guess if they have a, a land here, they would probably just don't attack and they play Shadow. Uh, it's a it gener for generating value. You don't have to attack with it. My friend. He had to sweep that away, otherwise it was going to kill us. They can't play Bone Crusher Giant because of Luris. We can probably assume they don't have Lightning Helix in their Death Shadow deck. So I'm going to go for greatness at any cost. So this is lethal. But there's only three days left in the season, and I think there's a chance they're playing for the top 1200. So I'm gonna go ahead and concede. I don't, I don't play in the arena qualifiers, and at the at the very end of the month, I don't like to take points away from from people that aren't working to qualify. I mean, it doesn't matter that they're a sub. I don't, I don't want to cast it in case they top right in a response. I'm gonna keep this in the dark, has all of our colors. If we draw like a fifth land on turn one, we'll just cycle the Canyon Slow. That's true, 92%, no concessions here. We're gonna get him. Yeah, good, good games, Alex. Good luck in the rest of your lettering. Ooh. So, even though I have the Sweeper, I think it's right to murder their Elf on one, because otherwise these decks just flood the board too quickly. And then we can go tap land Thoughtseize next turn. Spell or land, spell or land, spell or land. I think it's a land. Hopefully we don't regret that decision. It's the casual double company. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. That's where 
where they play the untapped land to curve perfectly. We're taking six here down to eight. Nicol Bolas Ravager shocks us down to six. Okay. No! 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 Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Oh, what a tilting card. Oh, the fucking hate bears chat. Why are, why are they so hateful? Why, it wasn't even a punt chat. Like these are tap two. I was just counting for getting, oh yeah. And they hit the Luminarch Aspirant too for the exact lethals. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah, suck it to me, baby. I mean, there weren't any mistakes there. We were just on the draw and their curve was insane. Like, I, I, it's technically evoptable to a plate of shock land, I suppose, but it just didn't matter ultimately. It's fine. It's fine. I'm boarding in the flunks chat. It's going to be reasonable. And that's, that's the, one of the things to consider too, we've talked about this plenty before, is that a deck like what we are playing is much better in an open deckless environment, like the tournaments that you'll play at MTG Melee, than it is on the ladder, right? The proactive, mostly linear creature decks, like Green White Company, are much better when your opponent doesn't know what you're doing because your decks just run them over, whereas a deck like what we're playing benefits a lot from being able to mulligan, mulligan accordingly game one. You know, you don't have games like that where you keep a handful of discard spells against the deck full of creatures. It just, that just comes with the territory of playing a deck like what we're playing on the ladder. You gotta, you gotta accept that you're gonna be giving up some amount of game ones to, uh, to just, like, keeps so that don't line up. Give me someone to step on. Wow! What did, what did I do to deserve this, chat? What did I... What did I do? Who did I anger? She's just so rude. Our hand's pretty good here, at least. Come on, give me an untapped land. The ra the Ravager wants to ravage my opponent. You just, like, take the Bone Crusher here, because it's the thing that's not like the others. I guess I should technically make them make them pick a heartless X so they can take the other one. Ding. This seems fine for us, right? It's like, we're not under any pressure. I get to play my second Bolas and take another card out of their hand. Hey, Nixabet. Thank you for the 13 months. I appreciate that. And like, if they have another Skyclave Apparition, I like get to Crux of Fate at some point and get a bunch of tokens back. Yeah, when we sweep, we get a 4-4. This card, this card is really good. I don't know that this is necessarily strictly optimal build of Grixis, but this card is super powerful. Hey, Colloquial. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. The untapped overlay is phenomenal. Super, super glad to have been able to move to that. Howdy, Butter Splash. Howdy, 
how the reanimator decks look. Both the reanimator decks we've played have looked excellent. We've played four color and we've played uh, Abzan today. I put four color up on the website after we played it yesterday. Velvet C, good afternoon. We've got we've got Mardu reanimator that I think should be up tomorrow. And then um what's it called? Uh Monday I think we're gonna be getting to Esper. Just gonna cover the whole smorgasbord. Yet. I think Flunk, I, I, no joke, I think this might be in contention for, I think Flunk might be in contention for the best uh, two mana black removal spell in this format. It's really, really good. Really good. Like the, the types of decks where you want two mana removal, it's going to be active. All right, and the draw for game three here. It's a scary one. Two, three, four, curving out the door now until they fail ya us. Hey, we're next. This is gonna be our last deck of the day, so geez. I've been by the time we got another half hour, 45 minutes with this, and I'll have been live for eight hours at that point. I, I plan to do for the re for the regulars, I plan and the new people too, I suppose. I plan to do a full normal stream tomorrow. So I plan to plan to be live at 8 a.m. again tomorrow morning. We're gonna do four or five decks again tomorrow, and then the open, the open will be on Sunday. Don't play Archon, don't do it. Deal, deal, that one resolves. That one, that one's fine, chat. They have two cards left. I assume they are Land Collected Company. Okay, so, yes. I think I take the hit here and then we kill the Archon so I can Bolas next turn is the plan. Our use our life total as a bit of a resource. The Fabricator, thank you for the three quarters of a year. Welcome back. Bolas is here and he is having none of your shit yet. None of it. Woo, nice Thalia! Nice Thalia! You love to see it, chat. You love to see it. Mm-mm, mm-mm-mm. Poor mm, 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 mm. mammoth, one math class. Hi, friend. See, chat, our Grixis deck isn't as unplayable as the first couple of unlucky matches implied. Yeah, yeah, I think, no joke, I think there's a chance Flunk is the best two mana black roof format. Looks 
long as we don't run into hall monitor, our deck is busted, chat. Hall monitor, our greatest nemesis. Opponent also somewhat of culture. Can we play a Grixis mirror, perhaps? The Blood Chief is hungry. Want to kill this in case they have a release the wins next turn? When Vault, you really don't want to let Vaulty fart chat. It's not a pleasant experience. And can trip this. I'd really like a four mana card to play next turn. I'm gonna cycle this proactively. We could hit Mind Stone or uh or a discard spell. I already have our fifth land rolled up still. I'm going to lead on the Sulfur Fall to imply I don't have a third black for Nickel Boloth to encourage them to burn like Murderous Rider or something on this. One could, one could make the argument that I am a master at beating chat. Now, I am going to go ahead and play this over the tap land because should they have a four mana nickel bolas of their own, I want to discard this defense. Or like a cake command tier, for example. We'll remake the multiverse. He must suffer for your cause. So shock, make a treasure. Oh no, wait, I could just stomp, make a treasure, or stomp, play the loss, right? Let's do that. Made to plat for the first time with Sultai Walkers. Deck's great, thanks to the site in the list. Hey, congrats, horror. So obviously I could down tick on their Bolas here, but I'd much rather require them to have a murder to kill this rather than just being able to shock it like I did to theirs. This requires a more specific answer now. Which they have, but I think our line's still correct there. Ah, uh, no, they're on, they're on bulky. Well, they're more planeswalker based build. Neat. Maybe I'm not supposed to play the land that I'm supposed to keep it to loot with. You can see that. <laughs> JK. There is no peace in defeat. What is the circle jerk command? Is there a story behind it? I I kid you not. The circle jerk command is literally a comment someone someone left because they got upset they got timed out. In fact, the fact that they have black castle here could easily castles in general could easily push this in their favor. I do I do have cling to dust though, which gives us a little bit of grind. It is actually a comment someone typed in my chat. I wish I wish I was joking. Semantic memory. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel this afternoon. They did bring back the chain. 
It's lovely. The, the objective opinion really makes the quote. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Inquisition here with likely a land because it lets Cling to Dust escape. Oh, sure, deal. That prevents them from looting with it too, which is good for us. They'd been a sub for three quarters of a year and they had been following the channel for five years or something like that. Well, yep, any cost. Love it. G Miller, thanks for the 39 months. Welcome back. I did, I, I was kind of hoping to draw a piece of removal. Kind, kind of, sort of. I have enough mana to play and alt four mana, Nick. I'm gonna try and bait a counter spell here. They have plenty of lands at this point. I guess, I guess taking a land restricts their castle activations. You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. All right, they top tier. They must have an answer to Nikki B. It's a pretty good one. All will bow before Nicole Bolas. Hey, we just need a four mana Nick chat. We played any four mana Nicks this game? We've not. So we've got four four mana Nicks in. 32 cards. Wow, that's great. You discard a card. No, my glory bringer's not there anymore. Damn it. All right, fine. If they have a counter spell, they have a counter spell. Shock you, pick up Bone Crusher. Yeah, yeah. Build your own Boros charm, chat. Build your own Boros charm. All right, so believe it or not, my sideboard is not particularly well set up for the Grixis mirror match. Um, generally, I like to board my discard spells out in the discard mirror, but I think we're going to leave the Thought Seizes and an Inquisition in because none of the rest of these cards look very good. I could board in Relic, I guess, but I really don't like nuking my own graveyard. Because we have Pay Command and Cling here, which I think are both better. So I think we just leave in a couple of discard spells. Yeah. Submit it. Grixis wins the mirror 100% of the time, chat. That's true. They did have Sarkin. That could be a reason to leave in some of the some spot room. I don't know. Circuit Light goes to two, and I have so many shocks in my deck. Probably fine. Mm -hmm. 
This is definitely the best cake command deck I've played so far. Getting a Jingataxis to survive a turn against a full hand Gandalf might be the best feeling in magic. God bless. God bless us, everyone. Don't Mystic dispute me. Don't Mystic dispute me. Don't Mystic dispute me. Oh, they're Mystic disputing me. Glorybringer is very good. It's the best red five drop in the format. Really, really excellent mid reach threat. Okay. Now hot to the top of their deck. Well, shit. This will be take a land. It could be right to like stomp their face, play Bone Crusher to try and get the. I think this is greedy. I think they're. I think they're supposed to just crux me. Losing losing this to Bone Crusher Giant seems like a spew. We'd have drawn an untapped land there. We could have played Bone Daddy. Rats. Infamous Rage Bot, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Well, shit isn't the card that's an MH3. <laughs> Is Castle the Mirror Breaker? They lost game one and they had two castles. It's, it's definitely good in the mirror. But it's by no means a guarantee. This is this is why I board out discard spells, by the way. In these matchups, if I have things to bring in. The top the top of the deck definitely is. I agree with that. Any cost yet. Any, any cost. Told you, told you it's not castle. It's the top of the deck. Castle, castle can help you with the top of your deck a little bit, but it can only it can only do so much. And that was that was kind of a textbook example of like 
why your discard spell should be out in these matchups if you can afford it, but generally speaking, these matchups tend to play more creatures, but the opponent's deck doesn't have enough creatures for us to bring in removal again, so thus we have to leave the discard spells in here. Because, like, against other control decks that are creature light, we want discard spells to save counter spells. I don't think I want to play into dispute here. We can like stomp their face and then like play Bone Crusher plus hold up to gate next turn. And I think I want to wait on the Thought Seize for the time being. I think I want to just be more resource efficient here. <laughs> Is, uh... What is uh, marijuana legalization like up in Canada, so Is it commonplace or is it still sparing, like in the United States? Thanks for the 15 months. 100% legal nationwide. Man, the United States chat. It's, it's, imp it's impressive how many things we do that just like, you just can't manage to do any of it correctly. There were 11 senators who didn't vote on the commission because voting no looks bad for them. Yeah, everyone that doesn't vote for the January 6th commission looks bad because they're they're protecting domestic terrorists. Abstain should be viewed as a no, but people are stupid. That is accurate. Big, big agree. Cling your cling. So, an important lesson for those of you at home that aren't familiar is that um, you Glory Banger does not bang other dragons. It's very particular. That being said, I could Chandra plus Chandra Glory Bringer into their Sarkin. I can also just Chandra down tick on their dragon. I think I want a Chandra down tick on their dragon, and then their Sarkin attacks my Chandra. I guess I could, I could Nickel Bolas here. Maybe I just Nicky B and take my two for one. Yeah, I think that's the play actually. 
And like, hopefully they attack with this next turn. They're disputing me? Deal, three for one? I guess they didn't want me to play like a follow-up and kill the Sarkin. They have eliminate in their deck post board? I guess they, they're, they're sideboarding probably awkward like ours that they don't have enough cards to take out. Okay, and now, Glory B. Now Glory B can kill this. And then we have Chandra to deal with this. Impossible. In my format, cards do what I think they do as opposed to what the text actually says. <laughs> Uh, big mood. You want to play with fire, huh? It's playtime. What? My hair is on fire? <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll won't help you, buddy. I don't want the Chandra to get attacked by their creature, Jay Gravy, because those Chandras need to be removal spells for me, like we just saw here. And if they if they attacked her, she wouldn't get a chance to be a removal spell. And the game is ended. Okay, gate command was very good. Magnificent! Magnificent! We have now asserted ourselves as the dominant Grixis control player. No. My knowledge is endless. You have brought back Sarkins and then plus no planes. They have summoning sickness chat. When Nicol Bolas flips, he leaves the battlefield and comes back into play. I did not, did not miss lethal with the, uh, did not miss lethal there. Chandra was, yes. So Chandra could have attacked, but I attacked them with my Nicol Bolas. So attacking them with Chandra would have been the same would have been the same as attacking them with the with the plus the plus chakra. Only I wouldn't have had a dragon in play. You could have gotten Glorybringer with the with the whatever. Yeah, but they could have they could have killed my thing in response, chat. Like chat's doing the typical you miss lethal based on information that we learned after the fact. Like what if what if their card I'm making them discard in their hand there is like a removal spell for my Nicobolas in play? I am planning to stream all day tomorrow. Planning to be live all weekend. We're doing at least four viewer decks again tomorrow, starting at 8 a.m. Central Time, and then we will be ooh. This is this is one of the decks we're gonna play tomorrow. Combo combo tokens with Elish Norn. This deck looks like gasoline. God, our hand is awful here. Yikes. I think we actually leave them the Chandra because we can kill her with Blood Chief's Thirst. We just like take one of their cards that makes multiple things. Kampernick, thanks for the follow. And then, wow, super punished. Oh, they drew a three mana spell. Yes, skill game. Um, And then Sunday's gonna be the Hooklandia open. So we'll be doing some more viewer decks tomorrow, all day, and then Sunday will be the open.
Okay, so we're gonna Prismari Command Shock this, make a treasure token. Great Dargans. Hey, Hern Q, thanks for the 26 months. Welcome back. Well, I guess that's my second red. Maybe I should have played that. If they find fourth land this turn, we might still die. If they continue bricking, we're going to be in a decent spot, obviously. Yeah, they get to attack us for eight here. And like Chandra's real. When people start screaming, time to toast your marshmallows. S'mores, anyone? <laughs> Yikes. Um yeah, I think I think I'm gonna die, Jeff. Yeah, they have you have transmogrify to cheat Nord into play as early as turn four, and then Chandra also makes mana to help you ramp up into Nord Nord. I guess I should have drawn with the Mind Stone to try and find a piece of removal there. All right, so what's the best approach here? Cling to dust, obviously not very good. Um, the spot removal is decent because the spot removal is decent because you can kill the thing they're transmogrifying. Oh, they're probably just boarding transmog out against us. I would I would board transmog out against us. I don't think I want all eight discard spells. As we saw that game, they have a lot of high cost things. So I think uh, Thought Seize is probably better. Chandra is probably worse than Nick because Nick can kill Elish Norn in a pinch, which is nice. Oh, Blood Chiefs. I guess Blood Chiefs kills Chandra. We'll split these two too. Yeah, none of none of the direct to historic cards ever have animations. Elish has has a sound effect at least. That's more than a lot of them get. Okay, this is this is what we're looking to do. We've got a uh, discard spell, our colors of mana, we've got a sweeper. Little little sad that we can't keep all seven, but definitely a good six. This is, this is actually a pretty good draw too, because this is this is one of the strengths of this Grixis deck in that I don't think a matchup like this is good for the controlling part of our deck, but because we have Bone Crushers and Nickel Bolas the Ravagers, we can just play a proactive game plan in a matchup like this in, in from potential draws. You're supposed to attack there actually. Glad, glad we didn't attack. Ugh. 
know how we beat Nadanto. Yeah, yeah, I think they're I think their decks I liked the opponent's archetype a lot when it was just a Crater Hoof Behemoth combo deck. And while Elishnorn's a little bit less explosive than Crater Hoof Behemoth, it also makes your deck a little bit more consistent, which is sweet. Because you can you can cast your mom. You can try and triple block here, it's ambitious. Let's step on this one so they don't gain life. Hey, Galdriel, thanks for the 21 months. I am having I am having a swell day. HA HA3 is playing out just as sweet as I was expecting it to. A lot of, a lot of great decks and ideas. Great, game three, we're on the draw for this one. Put it flooded out a little bit there, definitely helpful. I'm happy with how we boarded. Again, just gonna be looking for one of those proactive draws, ideally. Four, four mana Ravager is probably our best card in this matchup, just being able to uh, take a card out of their hand and then apply a very real clock in the air. Glory, glory bringer good for much of the same. Okay. The gate's pretty decent here. Got Bone Daddy to apply some pressure. This can generate some card. Nickel, Nickel Bolas Dragon God isn't a card that looks amazing in this matchup at a glance, but it's actually quite reasonable because the sustained card advantage from this, if we can get it into play, means that we can one for one their tokens and uh, not fall nearly as far behind. I'm going to take a hit for two here, and then if they play History of Benalia, we'll stomp the Night token. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I should have negated, right? I'm so dumb. Listen, chat. Do as I say, not as I do. So I was so committed to using stomp that turn in my head that just like the negates went right out the window. Well, we missed our land drop here, so we're probably dead, I imagine. I guess, I guess I can flunk this. They missed, they missed their fourth land. So we got that going for us. It's funny, I was thinking the opposite. I was thinking thanks to Untapped, I saw how big my collection was. Remember chat, it's not the size of your collection that matters, it's how you use it, okay? We both we both unlocked here a little bit now. Nice to be off work early and catch you live. The collected company angel deck you ran a while back's been doing good in a stark. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I think that deck's super reasonable. The catch us right at the tail end. This is the end of our fifth deck for today. Well, I mean, we know their hand is all spells, right? So, huh? I think we need to kill Chandra. And 
my, my hand's actually like really good, so I don't think I want to loot. I am out of here. Is it crazy to blood chief's thirst, assuming they might have another reinforcements here? Hang tight for now in case they have something hasty. Going on, Tiger. For those of you that are, aren't normally here during the week or you're working and can't catch live, not only are we doing the open on Sunday, but I will be live all, most of tomorrow as well. We're going to do, do somewhere between three and five decks tomorrow. Let's do this. Showdown of the Scalds. The scary one. Other showdown, huh? Do we just like get Nikki B going? Maybe we down tick him, huh? Oh, I guess if I down tick him, forbidden friendship will kill him. So Chandra can minus on this. This puts a counter here. This puts a counter here. Huh? If I do this and make a treasure, I can also Ravager this turn. So what if, what if I go Prismari Command, shoot this, make a treasure, Bolas, take your last card, have this attack here? I think I like that. Yeah, their last, their last card was second heroic reinforcements that I've been playing around. Nice. And then they have to play all of these out here or they lose them and then Shadow's Verdict can clean up for us. And then Nicol Bolas kills the Chandra. So the question is going to be how good is their second Skulls here? If their second Skulls is good, we could be in trouble. I assume we're going to see Chandra plus for mana and they'll like play second Vanguard and Skulls. Yep, you're going down. Yeah, it makes sense that they want to show down first, get get the most options. All right, their second uh, their second skulls here is not particularly good. Elix and three lands. They did get they did get a castle in there, but Hey, Ozar, thanks for the 16 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. This is this is gonna get got by the verdict anyway, so might as well get four points of damage in. Well, that was a disaster. Goodbye, friends. Alright, if they have two decent cards in hand, we could be in trouble, but otherwise feeling pretty good. I suppose they could kill us, right? With like a heroic reinforcement. Am I dead? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, my Bone Crusher got exiled. That's sad. It's like, oh, I can shock this, pick up Bone Crusher, stomp something. Is it too greedy to just play this and plus? Probably greedy. I died of heroic reinforcements either way, right? In exchange for eternal servitude. Alright, the card was land. One more brick chip. Your weak minds come. Okay. It's made rank 493. She stopped playing till the end of the month. You might need to win one more match. It's hard to know for sure. There's only three days left. Sitting could be an option. 
Was that a good draw? My intellect is without limit. Without limit. You know, honestly, I should probably leave this back just in case they peel a third heroic reinforcement. Draw step, shock the knight, make them discard. And honestly, we're only getting a land there, but like even every land counts with Dragon God, right? Do it again, I swear. What did you eons ago? Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be our last one of the day. I'm pretty happy with this Grixis build. Feel like we feel like the removal spell changes we made put us in a real good spot. Yeah, this deck has been excellent a number of times. Been up on the site for a reason. Pew! Yeah, it's an alt win kind of had a little animation. Do 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 I like this build. Like I said, the main deck has always felt pretty close. The addition of a couple of Culligan's commands felt good. Flunk. Flunk is kind of kind of the card, the card of the afternoon. I think this is quite possibly the best two mana black removal spell in the format right now. It basically always kills creatures. It kills a Danto Vanguard. It scales up as the late game goes long and eventually kills things like, uh, eventually scales up and kills things like, uh, Lovestruck Beast, so... Yeah, I think, uh, I'm going to go ahead and update the list on the site to match what we played here today and uh, call it a day. Uh, if you missed it, we played, this is our fifth deck we played today. I'm going to hit publish on, um, I'm going to hit publish on four YouTube videos here very momentarily. They're already done processing. This full Grixis set, if you missed any of the start, will end up on YouTube in an hour or so once it's done processing. I'll be back tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Central Time. We're going to do three to five decks, depending on what the viewer count looks like. Weekends can be kind of unpredictable because I don't usually stream them. If you're interested in playing or watching a tournament, check out the next Toglandia Open on Sunday, May 30th. Looking forward to having people play in that and casting it all day with Covert Go Blue. So thanks for watching. Hopefully see some of you around this weekend. Peace, folks.